All right, so you're trying to generate your Rigify rig, and you get this error. Bone, jaw, master, mouth, corner counts differ, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's really easy to fix this. I'm just going to hide the generated rig, select the meta rig, and then we're going to just solo it by hitting the slash key on the numpad. And so we can focus on that. And if you zoom in close here, you can see that if I just switch to edit mode, you can see these bones that are kind of tilting off to the side here. Those are actually supposed to be right in the center and they're coming off to the side. Those are the nose glue bones, and these nose glue bones need to be uh, straight in the center. So this is nose glue.04, and the other one is nose end glue.04. I just alt left clicked on that to get a menu to select the inner bone. So what we want to do is we want to have the ends of these lip top bones, because these lip top bones are actually there, the ends of them are supposed to be right about there. So this end is, should be here in the middle, and same with this one. That end should be here in the middle, like that. So what we're going to do to fix that real easily is just turn on x-axis mirror up here, select that, and then I'm going to just make sure all the bones are deselected with A or Alt-A, depending on what version of Blender you're using. And I'm going to hit C to bring up this circle select and I'm going to just click on the end of these bones so now if I right click to deselect that and then I hit G to grab it should be moving all of those bones including the the ends of the bones that is including the nose glue bones which is what we want so what I'm going to do I'm just going to right click to cancel that I'm going to zoom out and these Spine bones are perfectly in the center, so we're going to use those as a reference. So I'm just going to hit G um, first before I do that. Just make sure that up here you're set to vertex snapping and snap with closest. So I'm just going to hit G, X, and then we're going to hold down control and snap to this spine bone here. And then that should actually fix the primary issue. So if I uh, just come back here and select regenerate rig it will say successfully generated rig now that actually solves the problem but I like to just fix things up tidy things up a little bit more so I'm actually going to just um, undo that and yes make sure I don't undo too far there so we have our little thing that we just snapped which is good and now, if you look here in the center, you can see uh, some of these bones are not quite centered. And that's obviously not generating the error, but I like to just kind of tidy things up. So you could tidy these up by, um, just first of all, deselecting everything there. And then I'm just going to hit B to bring up box select. And I'm just going to go over the center of all these bones. And... I think that's basically selecting all the ones I want. I don't really need this one selected, so I'm just going to hit Shift and left click on that. And okay, so basically selecting those guys. And actually, you know what? Let's let's select UC and select select those guys as well so that we get these two neck bones as well, because I think those are a little bit off axis as well. So we select all those guys, and this bone, that's the jaw master. That one, might as well select that one as well. Um, now let's just hit S, X, 0, and then again we're going to go G, X and snap it to the spine bone. And that should be good. The two bones up here, which are the uh, nose glue bones, they actually have some unnecessary roll on them. So I'm just going to hit Alt-R to clear that, and Alt-R to clear that on those two nose and glue bones. All right, so we switch back to front view, and that should be mostly lined up now. So let's see if we get uh, any more errors. So switching back to object mode and click regenerate rig and we successfully generated our rig again. So there you go. You can um, have
have your rig working like that and of course to see it we're just going to come back out of um, solo mode here with the slash key on the numpad and there are all the bones that were successfully generated we can hide the meta rig now because we don't need it and if you don't like seeing all these confusing names here you can just turn off the show names under the viewport display and the object data properties and there you go so I hope you found this video helpful if you did let me know and uh, have a great week ahead